Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here. Welcome to It's Good to Be Geek. Today I'm going to be riding around the streets of Akihabara in go-karts that uh, is available for rent in this uh, fine rental establishment here in this uh, parking garage rents these things for roughly around 25 to 30 bucks an hour and uh, I'm also paying extra for the uh, guided tour uh, which is about another 15 bucks ish right price and availability or price in the website will be down in the description as always anyways these are uh, some gas powered uh, go-karts here which is pretty awesome and uh, there's also like costumes or whatever that they have in the back area uh, which is pretty cool uh, right back there but uh, I'm not really going to do the whole costume thing at least not this time around what I actually want to do is just ride the code carts and not crash into anybody um, because I don't really uh, I'm not really familiar with the streets of Japan and driving on the left side and stuff like that which is why I'm getting a guide so anyways um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, what you do need here is uh, something called the international driving permit right and you can pick that up from uh, AAA you don't need AAA membership or anything like that but uh, it's 15 bucks you do need a driver's license obviously a US driver's license um, you have to have two passport photos and the fill out the form and then you pay all that at the uh, AAA and then they issue a driver's permit which allows you to drive a regular car if you wanted to out here in Japan as well as a bunch of other states but um, for this because you're going to be driving on the streets uh, in a vehicle which is legal here these go-karts are legal here in the uh, um, streets of Japan so uh, that's why you need a international driver's permit so with that said let's get a, go ahead and climb right into this thing all right so basically we have the gas pedal here and then brake. Then we have some controls here. He explained to me uh, what some of this stuff was, but uh, I don't remember at all. I just know that this is left, right, signal, horn. Um, I don't know what that does. And he said that this thing does nothing. We have our rear view mirrors here. And then uh, to actually go forward, we have the uh, lift and reverse, neutral, and forward right then we have the ignition to turn right twice and then press a button to start which I don't really remember exactly what that button was oh yeah it's right down here this right here that fires it up to start and uh, I read online that these things can do about I don't know 30 miles per hour ish right or 30 to 50 miles per hour. I'll have to look that up. Just uh, links or info will be in the description as always. Anyways, I'm just waiting here to get going. So uh, stay tuned.
Time for a coffee break. Where would I go? 